friends, today, as we said earlier, is a day of celebration for us believers. For on this day, we commemorate the sending of the Holy Spirit and the birth of the Church. Allow us then to offer you a simple catechism about Pentecost. The Catechism tells us that the Passover of Jesus is fulfilled in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. Let us take a quick look at the symbols used to depict the coming of the Holy Spirit, wind and fire. Akin to the encounter of the Israelites with God on Mount Sinai, the Holy Spirit, the Advocate, descended on the disciples at the Cenacle as a loud, strong wind and tongues as of fire that rested on each of them. There is a profound meaning being communicated here. The covenant that the Father made with the Israelites and made new in Jesus was ultimately extended to all by the Holy Spirit. It tells us that the Holy Spirit, who is the love of the Father and the Son, came to embrace all people. This is the answer to the question in the first reading. How does each of us hear them in his native language? It was the Spirit who enabled these astounded people to hear the word proclaimed by the disciples in their own tongues. For as Pope Francis puts it, it is the Holy Spirit who creates harmony. Only the Spirit can awaken diversity, plurality, and multiplicity, while at the same time building unity. The Holy Spirit does not only bring harmony and unity among believers and in the church. It also enables us to recognize and proclaim Jesus as Lord in the very same way that the disciples of old recognized and proclaimed Him as Lord. Jesus is Lord. Uh, why is this important? In the Old Testament, the title Lord was used as an alternative to the unutterable name of God. We can say then that this profession of Jesus' Lordship is a declaration of our belief in His divinity that has assumed, of course, a human face. It is the Spirit that enables us to see the truth of Jesus. It is the Spirit's work also that strengthens us to proclaim our faith in Him and His gospel. It is the Spirit that fuels us to mission. It is the Spirit who grants us the courage to take to the streets of the world bringing the gospel. The Holy Spirit makes us look to the horizon and drives us to the very outskirts of existence in order to proclaim life in Jesus Christ, as Pope Francis teaches us. With these in mind, we can truly say that the Church is Catholic or universal and missionary from the very beginning. Thanks to Jesus who sent His Spirit, the Consoler and Advocate, who prepares us and draws us to Him, who manifests to us the risen Lord, reminding us of His Word, and who makes present the presence and mystery of Christ in His sacraments. Thanks to the Holy Spirit, the Church, the visible sign of God's communion with humanity, is continually enlivened, enriched, and sustained. This is all for now, brothers and sisters. We hope we have given you valuable insights about the Holy Spirit, whose coming and dynamism we celebrate on this beautiful feast. He opens the eyes of faith. He strengthens us to continue the work of Christ. True to His promise, the Lord sent to us the Consoler and Advocate. Let us then ask Him to come to us and to guide us always. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Amen. Amen.